We'll begin our installation of Apache by opening up a terminal. If you haven't saved a terminal as your favorite, open up all of the applications and then search for terminal. Once you have the terminal open, you have a couple of choices. You can either type in sudo before each command, or you can change to the root user so that you don't have to type that each time. Either way is fine, but you do need to run as administrator when running these commands. We're going to start by doing apt-get update. And since I'm not administrator, I'll need to type sudo before this command. The update will go out to the internet and pull down a list of the latest software that's available and it'll store that list here on the local machine. That way when we do the next steps, we can be sure that we're getting the latest available package. So we'll start by installing Apache. We're going to do apt-get install Apache 2 and then we can use dash y to keep from having to confirm the steps. The Apache software is being downloaded and then it'll be installed. Once this process completes, we're going to go ahead and enable the rewrite feature or rewrite module of Apache. We're going to use the built-in Apache 2 enable module tool, which is A2 in mod. And then we put the name of the module we want to enable, which is rewrite. And then finally, we're going to restart the Apache service. We can copy the command here to do that. Shift Control C is copy, Shift Control V is paste. We'll hit enter. Enter our password and restart the Apache service. We do want to make one modification. We're going to go ahead and alter one of the configuration files. We're going to type in sudo and then your favorite editor. In this case, we can use nano. gedit is also very popular. And the file that we want to override is the Apache configuration file, which is going to be in Etsy, Apache2, and Apache2.conf. What we're looking for is the directory option. So after we get down past the initial documentation, you'll see the directory section. And we want to find the directory for var www. And then we want to change the allow override option from its default setting of none to a new setting of all and we'll save our changes if you prefer a more graphical tool to edit files like notepad then you can use gedit this might give you a more familiar interface Then again, when we're done, we're going to go ahead and restart the service. If you want to avoid having to type in your password to restart the service, just type in sudo before the command. Now we can check and see if Apache is running. We're going to open up Firefox and browse to this local installation of Apache. So we'll browse to localhost. If you see the Apache default page, you've installed Apache correctly.